Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. It's 2019. I got a new background. New year, new me. Well, new year, same me. We're still doing stuff. All right, very exciting tutorial today. For those of you that have ever been gifted the beautiful gift of having green screen footage to edit or have shot on a green screen before and you bring it into After Effects and you use the key light thing and it just doesn't look right, we're gonna teach you how to make a brilliant clean key in three very, very easy steps in After Effects. I promise you, if you've never done it this way before, it will get you the cleanest key of green screen footage that you will, I always do Trump hands. Why do I do Trump hands? I gotta stop that. Anyways, three easy steps to get the cleanest missed keyed green screen footage that you've ever had out of After Effects, and that's a money back guarantee. I will refund your money if it doesn't look good. And that's a promise I'll keep. So the footage that we're gonna be working with today actually is lit properly for a green screen, but some of you out there may be dealing with green screens that are lit less than desirably, and you may have some shadows around the outside and all that fun stuff. So this will solve your problems as well, but open up Adobe After Effects, three easy steps, like I said before, cause we're getting started. All right guys, After Effects is open and down on my timeline, I got this nice clip of this girl unzipping her tent to reveal the green screen world that is outside. And for those of you that have ever had to green screen anything before, maybe this is your first time, maybe your experience, you know that sometimes things can get really difficult. Like right in here, in between her hair, a little bit of green screen is peeking through. There's green screen peeking through in the tent up here. And those little nooks and crannies can sometimes be really frustrating to deal with and key out. And if you've just used key light in After Effects, or you literally, this is the first time you're doing it, this should hopefully change the game for you. So let's keep going. So step number one in After after Effects, once you have your green screen footage down on the timeline, is going to be to come up to Effects and Presets over here on the right hand side. And if you guys don't have all of these panels over here, come up here to Window Workspace and go to All Panels and it will put all of the panels on the right hand side and come to Effects and Presets. And then we're going to type in Key. Now there's a couple different options here. There's keying blue, keying green blur, and we're gonna pull this over to the left-hand side and we're gonna drop in the After Effects built-in preset of key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. And this is the money maker right here. So step one is simply taking this and dragging it onto your green screen footage. That's step one. And now over here in effect controls, all of those options are now available for us to use. And so step number two is going to be starting with taking this little eyedropper under screen color and simply click on the green and it does a pretty good job already of getting rid of that green but you can still see there's little green halos there's like some stuff going on in her hair over here see right here in this little nook and cranny still some green it's it's looking okay but not presentable so the next thing we're gonna do is immediately come over here to where it says intermediate result and we're gonna switch this to screen matte and what that's gonna do is it's gonna show us the areas in which need to be keyed out, which is the black, and the areas in which we want to retain, which is going to be the white. So once we have our screen mat selected, come over here and tool down the screen mat dropdown, and we are going to adjust the clip black and clip white values. First, we're gonna start with the black. We're gonna just increase this until all of this noise in our blacks goes away. You can kind of see the chatter in here from the green screen. So we'll just simply raise this until it goes away. And I didn't really have to do much. See that? Because the green screen is nice and evenly lit. For those of you that are working with a green screen that's not so lit, you may have to go a little bit more aggressive. But for me, uh, just turning it up to like 10 is probably good. And we're gonna do the same thing with the white. So I'm gonna just move over here so I can see the details of my whites. And I'm gonna bring it down from 100 until all of my whites are nice and filled in and I don't see any of that black chatter happening in the white parts of my frame. If I turn it up to 100, you can see there's some stuff in the hair and some stuff in the outside of the tent. But if I move it down, there you go. All of that is gone. So once we have that, we can come over here to screen matte and put it back to intermediate result. And now we are looking really good with our matte black and matte white. And now for the piece de resistance, what we're gonna do is come in here so you can see how well it's actually working. The little green halo around the tent and around her head is going to go away by follow the mouse. Here we go, ready for this? Whoop. And over here under our effect controls, the advanced spill suppressor, the effect is actually turned off. And you can tell if an effect is on by the little effects in the box to the left of it, but advanced spill suppressor is turned off. So I'm simply just gonna turn this on and watch the halo. Gone, gone baby, gone. Just by simply clicking that on and off, it will get rid of the spill. It will get into those nooks and crannies and make it much more palatable for you to be working with your green screen footage. And you may wanna come back into your screen mat and you wanna adjust the black and white values accordingly if you start to see some weird stuff. But now step three is going to be to come over to your project and we're just gonna drop in underneath our green screen layer, the footage that we want in the back. She's gonna be opening her tent to a beautiful, beautiful beach setting. Maybe we'll go this way a little bit. 
And you can see in her hair, it's keying out really nicely. Over here in this top little corner, it's keying out very nicely. And we're not getting any chatter or any noise happening in our key or in her hair or anything like that. And you can come up here to your top layer where the green screen is happening, come over to effect controls, and you can turn on this little button right here, reduce chatter. And that will give you just a little bit of a safer result. So we're gonna keep that on. And now when we play this back, she opens up the tent and oh my goodness, a big, beautiful world out there. Now I'm using stock footage for both of these things, the tent and the background layer. If you guys shoot your own green screen, it may look a little bit different, but the way that you sell chroma keying anything is just a little bit of color correction on top of it to kind of glue it all together and make it kind of seamless. So what we'll do is come over here to layer, new adjustment layer, and we're just gonna drop that right on top. And then we're gonna come up to our effects. We're gonna go to color correction, down to Lumetri color. And we're gonna drop that on here. And what I'm simply gonna do is just come over to creative and I'm going to add a LUT. My favorite is the Fuji Eterna 3510 LUT. I love that LUT so much. I don't know why, I just really like it. And what I'll do is I'll turn down the intensity from 100 to maybe 60. And I'm also going to give it a nice little faded film look just to kind of glue it all together. And maybe what we'll also do is come over here to our color wheels and we'll boost our midtones slightly and we'll darken our shadows and our highlights. And there we go, guys. It's looking really good. And now, of course, you don't have to use a nice beach scene when you're opening your tent. What you could do is have a little fun with it, huh? Oh, what's that out there? Oh, it's dark and spook. Oh my goodness, an explosion. Wow, who saw that coming? And that's pretty much it, guys. A very super effective way to get a nice clean key inside of After Effects by using the Key Light Key Cleaner and Advanced Spill Suppressor plugin already inside of After Effects. You don't have to do anything. Just drag and drop that on your green screen footage and then select your screen mat, set your black and white values, and then turn on the Advanced Spill Suppressor. And you guys should be ready to rock and getting a much cleaner key than you ever have before inside of After Effects by trying any other method. And I've tried a lot of other methods. And this one is free if you own After Effects. You don't have to purchase a separate software to do this. Like Primat Keyer, I bought it because you know I had to do a green screen project and I bought Primat Keyer and it was hundreds of dollars and I found that this way actually ended up working better and I kind of kicked myself in the butt because I spent the money but I wanted to try new things but now I am just downloading the knowledge and the frustration that I had to go through into all of your little moldable, malleable minds out there who are maybe watching this video because you have to do a green screen project. I don't know, maybe you just want to put an explosion behind a tent for the lulls. I don't know. Anyways, now I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Hey, that Christmas money, that holiday money that you got this year, my merch is available down underneath the video description. Go check that out. Subscribe, check out the last video, and I will see you next time. Do you like my new background?